Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to guide you through how to make a family tree on Google Slides. So let me click here to populate the name of the file and the first thing I want to do is because it's not going to be a presentation but rather a printout then I want to change my file size, my page setup. So I'm going to click on file scroll down and click on page setup and under the drop down menu here custom and then I'm going to type here 21 by 29 that will give me a portrait page if you want to do it on landscape simply write the 29 on the width and the 21 on the height and apply so you see that the proportion of the page changed, and now it's the same as an A4 page. Of course, at any point in this tutorial, you can pause, go do the few steps, and then play it again. I'm going to delete, move my heading to the top. I will later change it. Okay. If you, and I'm going to cl close the theme so we see the full page. If you want to bring in a picture of a tree, then you're welcome to do it and set it up the right size, but then it will be easier to put it aside while you're setting up all your little boxes with the name of the people in your family. I'm going to guide you through it. You can either use the Explore button or look online. Let's do the Explore. The advantage of the Explore is all the pictures that it will bring are royalty free, so you can feel absolutely fine using them. Not free, but rather tree. Choose an images and choose an image that you like for your family tree. Say this one. Click the plus, and there we go then adjust the size so it fits on the page normally i would not recommend dragging pictures from the sides but rather from the corners but because we are talking about a tree you know the person then it's not such a big deal decide if you want it to be the full size of the page or just part of it set it up in a way that you're happy and then click arrange order send to back but what i would recommend now is to move it away and only bring it back once you've done with all your blocks it will just make your work much easier so let's put it here and again if you want to pause go do those few steps feel absolutely fine to do so and then come back for the next step i'm going to delete this little text box now we're ready to go so the little blocks with the names of the people in your family are going to be shapes which you can find either via this little shortcut here or via the insert shape button and all those shapes in google slides are textable meaning that you put in a shape and then when you start typing it will put the text inside the shape so i'm going to go for that rounded corner rectangle and click here and I simply type my name and I recommend working with your basic block adjusting it until you're happy and then multiplying it what I mean by that is that once I've got the block here I'm gonna make the text a bit bigger let's say 24 I'm going to center the text both horizontally and vertically in the box I'm going to choose a nice background color for the box using the paint bucket tool set this orangey I'm going to set a slightly thicker border and I'm going to change the font to something a bit funkier like this Aladdin font and maybe make it just a little bit bigger 36 there we go so this will be my building block for all my 
family members. I can later on uh, change the color and change things, but it's easy to just copy and paste one building block and recreating it again and again. Because when you copy it, it will copy all the properties of it. So it will copy its color, the font, the size, and everything else. So in order to copy the text box, you want to right click in the area of the box but not over the text. So let's go here, right click, copy, and then left click anywhere on your page and then right click in the same place and paste. So now I've got another box and I can move it up here and I'm going to paste it again and then and you can use those align tools, those red lines tells you that these two boxes are aligned, they're in the same line. And I'm going to write the names of my parents here. Mom, Ahuva, and my father, Daniel. So this is the beginning of my tree. I can drag over all those shapes and then move them further down together to make more space. And now the nice thing about Google sl uh, Slides is that if you take the line tool now and you choose that line which has the two dots on the ends and you come near your shapes, you see it automatic automatically get those purple handles because it sees that you want to make some sort of a mind map. And then you can click here and drag into the next box and you can see that those handles will appear here and you can then connect the two boxes. So now if I move that, the line is just going to move with it. So that's quite helpful. Where it's not perfectly set up yet is that if I now want to connect myself to my parents and I choose the line again, I do get that um, sort of, sort of uh, anchor point here, but it only comes in the corners of the names and not on the line. But still, you can just eyeball it and drop the line here. And there we go. The main difference here is that if I move the names now, the line is not going to move with it. So you're going to need to readjust it. And that's how you can build your family tree. And now that I've done that, I can start adding my grandparents. So paste. Put that here, and you see it's the same building block. I'm going to use it again and again and again. And paste, put it here, and let's call him Abe, and we'll call her Pera. It's a short of the name, and then again, I'm going to choose that line, grab that anchor point drag over to this anchor point, what you will find out now that if they are too close together, then it will be difficult to put it in one of the sides. So that's sort of a, a downside, but the solution for this is to move one of them a little bit further away, and then you are able to drag it to the line. Okay, and that way you can slowly build up your family tree. Of course, once you've got all the name in place, you can then change the colors a little bit, maybe to give each generation a different field, and you can uh, slightly change the color or the tone. Make everything a bit darker. Okay. So you can play around with that, and when you're finished, you will then take your tree, you put it back on your page, and there we go. Okay, so that's just a little idea. If you find now that the lines are disappearing, you can move that again. You can drag over and select your entire boxes, and then you can adjust things which will apply all of them. So I can go now and make the line thicker for all of them and maybe I want to choose a color for my line I'll choose um, blue and there we go put the picture back over it now it stands up more against the background 
Uh, and the last thing to do is, of course, change the heading. Let's call it family tree. We want a capital there. Let's give it a bright color so we can see what it says. There we go. And that's how you can make a family tree using Google Slides. Maybe one little tip before I finish this tutorial. Stay away from the very edges of the page because, as you know, the printer takes about half centimeters for each from each side of the page where the printer just can't print. So make sure you push your things a little bit inside. Thank you very much, and I hope you find that helpful.